Welcome. The following video or audio are the study of the Bible, chapter by chapter, verse by verse of the King James 1611 Bible. Our family welcomes you to our household Bible ministry time. You may watch and listen with us. Our goal has been from Genesis to the book of Revelation. Each chapter by chapter we try. And topical preaching and teaching aids you can find by searching different topics. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. Come and appreciate the word of God for our spiritual growth, our development in the word of God by these lessons. Please feel, feel, please feel welcome to upload and share our Bible study with family and friends. Like us, subscribe, write a comment, let us know you heard the message. The video or audio are not copyrighted and should be used and not abused. Thank you. Colossians chapter 4. Master, picking up from chapter 3. We went to the wife, the husband, the children, the fathers, the employees. Now the, ma now the masters and employers. Give unto your servants that which is just and equal. So America talks about equal pay. And they don't even know that comes out of the Bible. The next time you hear equal pay, think of the Bible. Knowing that ye also have master in heaven. Alright, so how you better treat your employees is better how God you want God to treat you. An eye for an eye. Continue in prayer. Alright, so we're done with the family, we're done with the employer, we're done with the employee. Now, paragraph marks all Christians. Continue in prayer. Don't stop praying. And watch in the same with thanksgiving. Watch for the Lord, the hope, the blessed hope, and thank the Lord. Prayer and thanksgiving. They are two different things. With all praying also for us, that God would open unto us a door of utterance. So pray for other ministries. Other churches, min, min, uh, uh, missionaries, evangelists, for open doors to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in bonds, jail, jail's ministry. He wants to go teach everyone about the mystery, Christ indwelling us, the Jew and the Gentile. We've already looked at some of the mysteries. Those mysteries will bring you to know Christ as your Savior and what happens after you're saved. That I may make it manifest, make it known, shown, as I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, not saved. Carry to the unsaved people wisdom of God. Redeeming the time. Let your speech be always with grace. Season with salt. Sometimes salt hurts on the wound. Sometimes salt is needed. Sometimes salt adds flavor. As Job said, is there any taste of the white of an egg? Well, you put a little salt on it. Too much salt will make you uh, get high blood pressure. Too little salt is just as unhealthy. So you got to have an even balance of salt. That ye may know how to ought to answer every man. So you're supposed to give them answers by wisdom. When somebody asks you a question, you are obligated to give them an answer. Now, sometimes that answer may be, I don't know, and you've got to go study. Listen, if you don't know, don't be afraid not to say, I don't know. But then go study it out, find out what the answer is for the next person. All my state shall Ticketus declare unto you, who is beloved brother and faithful minister and fellow servant in the Lord, whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose. So he's, he's, Paul is sending men out to these churches. Tychicus is one he's going to send to the Colossians. Paul's never visited this church. <coughs> <coughs> he says he's going to tell of the things I'm doing, of what I, what's going on with me, that he might know your estate and comfort your heart. With Onassis, that's the one that found the Philipp, uh, Philemon, is... Uh, with Onassis, a faithful and beloved brother. You mean a slave that ran away? 
who is one of you, they shall make known unto you all things which are done here. So they're going to come and tell you what's going on. They're going to give a report of me. They're going to give a report of the ministry we're doing, what's going on. As a ministry, as, oh boy, I can't get my words right today. As a missionary would come to the church and give a report of the field. Our Stichicus, my fellow prisoner, he's in jail with Paul, saluteth you. So here's a guy in, in jail with Paul like Silas, and they're having fleet, sweet fellowship with the Lord. If I can get my tongue to work today. And Marcus, sister's son to Barabbas. I don't know what the kinship there is. Touching whom ye receive commandments. So Barabbas, uh, Barnabas, excuse me, Bar Barnabas has visited Colossians. He's been there and he's told them commandments. If he comes unto you, receive him. And Jesus, which is called Justice. Now here's a guy who had a name Jesus. And he changes it. Now, I'm going to assume, I'm going to add my own thing. Maybe here he thought he wasn't, you know, worthy enough to have such a name. Maybe he heard Paul say something about there's another Jesus. He went, wait a minute. And that name you find in Mexico in Spanish is Jesus. Which is called Justice, who are of the circumcision. So he's Jewish. Imagine a Jewish guy called Jesus. Isn't that a kick in the pants? These, these only are my fellow workers unto the kingdom of God, which have been a comfort unto me. Paul's finishing up this letter. Look, he's mentioned people's names. How you doing? I'm sending these guys out. This guy says hello. This guy says, Aphrodite, who is one of you, a servant of Christ, saluteth you. Always laboring fervently for you in prayers. Prayer is laboring. So if you labor in prayer, what do you think God's going to give you for your prayers? What do you What do you get when you labor? You get a wage. And what's the wages of God if you do right? Rewards, crowns, gold, silver, precious stones. So don't weigh out prayer. Prayer is important. That ye may stand perfect and complete. That's what perfect means. Complete in all the will of God. You're not 100%. Is what God has you to do. You're, you're fulfilling what you're doing. You're confessing your sins. You're praying. You're witnessing. You're studying. You're teaching. For I bear him record, Aphroditus, that he has a great zeal for you. And then that are in Laodicea. And that's the second time Paul's mentioned that. And them in Hierapolis. Luke. Okay, we're going to learn something about Luke. The beloved physician. Well, look at that. The healing Paul carried a doctor around. So what do you say about healers today? A bunch of baloney. And Demas. Well, that's not going to get a good report of him later. Greet you. Demas is right there with Paul. Whether he's in jail or he's outside jail, is he's having work with Paul in the ministry. In Colossians chapter 4. 2 Timothy chapter 4, he leaves. Salute the brethren which are in Laodicea, third time, and Nephophis, and the church which is in his house. So what do you do about living room religion? There it is. Uh, Onassis, when he writes to Philemon, Philemon had a church in his house. And when, the, when this epistle is read among you, so there's letters written to be read to all the people. Cause that it be read also in the churches of the Laodiceans. Alright, so when you're done with this letter or you copy it, send it off to Laodicea so they can read. So these letters are, hey, it ain't just for the Colossians. It ain't just for the Ephesians. When you're done reading it, it's copy it or send it off to another church to learn. That's why we got it in the 66th book. It's for all of us. 
and that ye likewise read the epistle from the Laodicea. Uh oh. We don't have that epistle, do we? And yet the Holy Spirit says, no, you're not going to get that one in, in your books of the Bible. And yet John, the apostle, matches with, with Paul right to seven churches. So evidently they both wrote a letter to that Laodicea. And yet one of them's only recorded. One, we don't have no idea what was said. And say to Archippus, you know, you can mispronounce these names. I mean, they're hard names to pronounce. But at least we've read them. At least we've looked at their name. So when we get to heaven, we might know who these people already are by reading the Bible. And a guy may come up to you, you know, put his arm around you. I don't know. And say, hey, you had a good time trying to pronounce my name, didn't you? Oh, yeah, 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 it's Paul. I don't know. A lot better people who never read their Bible. Never read their Bible through. Listen, if you never read your Bible through, you don't read these names. You don't realize these people are in heaven right now. They're in the grave, yet they've been absent from the body and present with the Lord. And I don't know I don't know if they know what goes on in the earth. You imagine, hey, they're reading about me. I don't know. I don't know why they would be in glory right now, worry about this sin-cursed world, but I don't know. Take heed to the ministry which thou hast received in the Lord, that thou fulfill it. So tell this man, Archippus, he has a ministry. Report to him that he has received the Lord, he is saved, and fulfill what he's doing. That's a good report. What he's not, you know what Paul's saying, Archippus? You're doing a good job. Keep on going. You know, when people got ministries, you're supposed to encourage them. You're supposed to help them. The salutation by the hand of me, Paul. Paul wrote this salutation. The ending of this letter. Somebody else may, fit, may have wrote the letter for Paul as it's happened, like Romans. But this closing, with the dearness of Paul's heart and prayers, he wrote chapter 4 himself. Remember my bonds. I'm in jail. Grace be with you. Amen. And he closes off. Sends a letter off. There's a bunch of people going to Colossians. Encouraging the brethren. That's what Paul does. He's encouraging. Keep going. That's what we're supposed to be doing. 